After a long career, Chris Paul to me continues to be one of the most underrated players of our generation, and I don't think there could be a better four years to prove this than his last four years what he's doing well into his 30s. In today's video, we're going to uncover why Chris Paul has been the answer to so many teams and continues to go under the radar. What he's doing is truly spectacular and he needs some appreciation. The first thing we need to notice before we get into this is the stereotypes. There are people who break everything fans know about athletes and can't seem to comprehend it. We picture basketball players as people who just tower over regular people can jump out of the gym and just hit their head on the ceiling well Chris Paul is six feet tall and is kind of muscular but looks more like a bowling ball to me we see this in football Tom Brady is slower than some seventh graders are and probably doesn't even have a top 20 arm talent wise in the NFL but there are some intangibles that can't be put on a stat sheet or even be comprehended besides in the win and loss column winners have winning attributes so let's look at Chris Paul when Chris Paul joined the Houston Rockets the sport Sports media raved about how much this wouldn't work. Chris Paul is 32 years old and was the main ball handler and point guard on every team he's played for, so he joined a team with James Harden who was the most ball dominant ISO player in the league. So was the sports media wrong? No, they were 100% justified thinking what they did because this should have never worked, it should have been a disaster. But what they did underestimate is the intangibles of Chris Paul who is the sole reason this whole operation worked. He played his role, he let James Harden be himself which ended up winning his first MVP and Chris Paul was simply there to win games. He shoots 90% from the free throw line, plays great defense and was still able to average 18.5 points and 8 assists. But Chris Paul isn't someone you can quantify the importance with with numbers, but as we see See though, he took the Rockets team who had an okay, but let's be honest, very overachieving roster. Outside of James Harden, they had PJ Tucker, Clint Capella, and Trevor Ariza. And they took a fully healthy Golden State Warriors team seven games. They were up 3-2 to two against Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, and Kevin Durant. Chris Paul came down with an injury in game six, and the Warriors dynasty was almost non-existent without a lucky break of an injury. Well, lucky kind of implies that it wasn't expected but we'll get into that later. After the Rockets decided to move on from Chris Paul, they went to the route of Russell Westbrook and he got traded to the Thunder. And the Thunder got Chris Paul and a couple of first round draft picks, which implies that Westbrook is an improvement from Chris Paul. Once again, we see the Rockets even undervalue what Chris Paul does. They made the mistake, oh, Westbrook is 6'4", super athletic, and look at his numbers. And I couldn't think of two opposite players and how they get their numbers, and I believe the Rockets made the mistake of doing what a lot of NBA fans do. Chris Paul doesn't make sense, but you just have to look at the results. Me included even thought, okay, if Chris Paul doesn't immediately leave the Thunder, this is where his career is going to die. This is a veteran player who wants a ring and a rebuilding franchise who is super super young and lost Kevin Durant, Harden, Westbrook, Paul George, and Carmelo Anthony all in this decade. But as the season started, we sat back and said, hmm, that's weird. The Thunder are in the top eight seeds. And as more and more time went on, they got better and better. And we're thinking, how does a team with a wash Chris Paul, Steven Adams, Al Horford, and a bunch of babies doing so well. They finished with the exact same record as the Houston Rockets, who were supposed to be favorites in the West. They were 44-28 and 28 and finished with the fifth seed in a stacked Western Conference. So Chris Paul took the reins of this team and had career highs in points and assists, right? Wrong. Stop trying to figure this man out with numbers. Whatever he does for the team, he is the catalyst that makes it all work, regardless of the situation. He makes winning defensive plays, taking charges he runs the offense like a genius so whether the stat or scoring or a good look comes from him or not on the stat sheet it was because of him and to bring it back to the comparison of Tom Brady we can't figure him out by numbers physical attributes or situation but Chris Paul went up against his former team in the Rockets in the first round of the playoffs and lost by two points in a game seven they did lose but what should have happened this should have been an all-time mismatch and I'm sure you know where I'm going with this yes in fact Chris Paul at the age of 35 going on 21 is doing it again and you can say oh the Suns finished 8-0 and to finish the season well that's impressive but they went 8-0 and and still didn't have the record to be a playing team so he don't tell me he joined some super overpowered team with a Western Conference with the Lakers the Clippers and all these other teams that were supposed to have a breakout year he joined a 34 and 39 Suns team
team who are only one game behind the Utah Jazz for the first seed in the West and the best record in the entire NBA. If you're watching this video to find out exactly how this happened, I honestly have no fucking idea how he keeps doing this, but he does the things that he can control. He makes his free throws, he gives maximum effort, he knows everyone's strengths on the team and elevates them to play their best basketball and set them up for success. I know it's impossible, but we can speculate whether he's good or bad in the locker room because I've heard both, but he is undeniably the leader of this team. What he is doing is exceptional and you can look very foolish trying to explain it. Charles Barkley said he should be in the discussion for MVP, but we take a glance at him and look at his stats and say, how? And that's really the moral of the story. We just can't understand it. But what he does can't be a fluke for all the situations and different team he's been on in the past four years. In this age, you shouldn't be making this kind of impact. So it absolutely cannot be a fluke. But let me know what you guys think. What do you think Chris Paul's secret sauce is to getting all these wins? I think he just knows everyone's strengths and he's able to exploit them and get a good look whether it goes to a stat sheet or not. I don't think he cares about numbers at all, but it can't be a fluke. We saw a Rockets team who didn't have the best roster take the Warriors seven games. What he did on the Thunder was amazing. And the Suns, the Suns have been terrible for so long and he absolutely just turned them around when he said, oh, he's so old. He's on a terrible contract. He just keeps doing it over and over again. Make sure to leave a like if you like this video. Make sure to subscribe for daily basketball content and comment down below what you think of Chris Paul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all tomorrow. Peace!